We're running a giveaway. Please subscribe to our channel, like and comment on this video. Two weeks after we publish, we'll be giving away $100 to our favourite comment. If you want your YouTube videos to be seen by a wide audience, it's important to get your videos ranking highly on the YouTube search results page. If you want to make the most out of YouTube, using the following four tools will get you on the right track. In this video, I'm going to take you through the four YouTube SEO tools I use to ensure my videos perform well and get the right eyes on my videos. YouTube SEO is so important in bringing a wide audience to your content. Without doing proper keyword research and having real insights into trends and topics of interest, your video won't rank organically and therefore won't get as many views as it could. We've been running this channel for six months and the majority of our videos are already ranking for certain keywords. Although we started with advertising our content, we're now generating a huge amount of organic traffic and that's all thanks to getting our SEO right. The tools I'll be talking you through today are Google Trends, Keyword Tool, YouTube Analytics and Rank Tracker. If you want to know how to get inside the head of your audience, keep watching. The first step to creating great YouTube content is finding the keyword you want to target. The first two tools I'm going to talk to you about will really help with this part of the YouTube video process. I use Google Trends to get me started when trying to figure out which keyword is best to target. Google Trends has a handy YouTube search feature which presents you with search volumes displayed as percentages for your desired keywords. You can also compare keyword search volumes directly against one another. I like Google Trends because it presents you with real-time data and the graphs show you visually how different keywords compare to each other. Google Trends has other great features like what topics are trending at the moment, related search terms by region, trends over time and trends by month. The next tool I use when deciding on a keyword is Keyword Tool. Although this tool isn't free like Google Trends, it's worth every penny. You can see search volumes for YouTube by average monthly searches and compare numbers to similar search terms. Keyword Tool uses the autocomplete function from Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay and the App Store to give you alternative keyword ideas. It's a great tool to use if you need some inspiration. Keyword Tool is $68 for the monthly subscription. This is my go-to tool when getting started on creating my video content. You're probably wondering how I analyse the success of my chosen keyword. Keep watching if you want to find out. Once I've chosen my keyword, created my content and posted my video, the next step I take is to monitor the performance of my video. YouTube Analytics is great for doing so, and it's free. Although the data is not live, once your video has been live for a few days, you can really see how it's doing, where your audience are coming from, where they may drop off, and whether your video has made you gain or lose subscribers. If you're taking running your YouTube channel seriously, then YouTube Analytics is key to the success of your channel. What I like to do is gather data at the end of each month. That way I can look at what's worked and what hasn't when planning out my next batch of video content. Another great tool to use once your video is already live is Rank Tracker. This tool allows you to see where your videos rank on YouTube for certain keywords, your average ranking on YouTube, and your video position changes on YouTube. This is a great tool to use if you're reporting back to someone on video performance. It's a real proof of what's working and what isn't when it comes to organic rankings. All of the tools discussed above work hand in hand. I use Google Trends to get me started and inspire me, and then I use the Keyword Tool to get some real data on my chosen topic. YouTube Analytics and Rank Tracker then allow me to see if my chosen topic was effective or not. If you use these tools for each of your YouTube videos, you'll get into a real habit of creating content that people genuinely care about, or at least in the land of YouTube. It's important to record data and always refer back to it. So, to recap, these are the best tools to use to get your YouTube videos ranking organically. Use Google Trends for keyword inspiration. Use Keyword Tool for search volumes. Use YouTube Analytics to report back on performance of your videos. Use Rank Tracker to see where your video is ranking on YouTube. I hope these YouTube SEO tools help you get to number one. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a comment and subscribe to the 4 Minute Tech channel. If you'd like to suggest video content, please do leave a comment and I'll be sure to do keyword around the topic and create a video just for you. Thanks for watching.